Now, this British airplane right here is, of course, the Avro RJ airliner, which has always been quite interesting to me because of its four engine design, which seems quite unconventional. I mean, four engine airliners are kind of dying nowadays anyway, but this plane really makes you think, why did they decide to put four engines on a regional airliner like this? I mean, even in the 80s when this airplane was introduced, it was only long haul airliners that needed four engines, mainly because they wanted to go across oceans and you know they wanted to be sure that if one engine failed you have three more as redundancy the avro jet though definitely does not have the capability to fly across oceans anyway but the reason it has four engines is of course it's short takeoff and landing performance see while this airplane doesn't really operate anymore in europe it was very much known to fly very well to london city's airport has a short runway which is no problem for this quite powerful jet like absolutely no trouble we've got very low sound volume the plane's kind of known as like a whisper jet and we can very easily reach speeds in this one and take off in this one. Come on, look at that. That is working just... That is not working well. All right, we failed to take off at London City for some reason. Okay. And I mean, this airplane hasn't been produced since 2001. It's definitely dying. And that's obviously because of the four engines indeed. They just don't make this airplane very economical. I mean, I wondered. I mean, this is quite an engineering marvel nevertheless. And definitely one of the last British airliners that we, we saw flying around. I thought, can we save this airplane? Can we make it? Twin engine. Twin engine? Like this? Everybody, yes! I have faked the Avro jet! But before I could do that, I was thinking, how can I replace those four engines to have sufficient power on only two? I mean, the Avro jet uses the Lycoming Alpha 502 engines, which are also found on private jets like the Challenger 600 from Bombardier. And to be honest, having four of those engines is actually quite impressive. Seven and a half thousand pounds of thrust per engine, which gives us a grand total of 30,000 pounds of thrust. And so it's time to find an engine which we can replace those four with, so we can fly well with only two of them. Here is the ERJ-195 by Embraer, which Embraer only started to build once the Aerojet had already been cancelled, but it has the CF-34 engine, which, you know, came out but even before the Avro was first built. So this could have been plausible. And this engine has plenty of power, 20,000 pounds of thrust per engine, which means we will definitely not have an unpowerful airplane at all. So let's go ahead and just uh, replace those values right here, 20,000 pounds. And welcome aboard the upgraded now Avro RJ100, which in terms of fuel economy probably isn't very good. I mean, this plane seats up to 82 people, whereas the ERJ195, which fits which has the same engine and has the same amount of fuel usage, probably. It's capable of carrying between 120 and 146 passengers. A uh, lot bit... Okay, this is actually... I've kind of made this airplane worse, but... Look, when we talk about runway performance, this plane will do incredibly well because these very powerful and strong engines also have very powerful and strong Reverse thrust, everybody. <laughs> now, the Avro actually in real life never had proper reverse thrust, but instead only had this air brake right here to stop. Quite a lot of air brake. And within combination of the reverse thrust, this airplane will stop in no time. But it will definitely take off in no time either. I have definitely improved this plane. I probably made it a bit louder to be honest but here we go let's take off and you can see when we unleash the power of this airplane we have no issues here operating out of um london city airport this will go great all right look at that we're already at 120 knots this is looking absolutely fine this is now a very powerful and strong airplane landing gear up taking off out of london city airport nearly vertically absolutely no trouble at all yes okay maybe the whole avro airliner idea was dying by the early 2000s but they could have continued this jet by just fitting it with two engines, right? And I mean, nowadays, engines are so reliable that you need more than two engines for redundancy. Which was, of course, another big reason why the Avro had those four engines to begin with. See, we've definitely fixed this airplane. Let's go ahead and now, um... Uh, 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 yeah, we can probably fly this plane to anywhere now at this point. I kind of just realized that we built a British version of the Antonov N-148. Um, which better now? Because we've actually achieved what the Avro guys have always dreamed of, and that's extreme stall performance. I mean, here we are at St. Barthel. I mean, I promised this is going to work. This is definitely going to work. Like, all we need to do is, you know, reverse thrust a little bit. And I mean, this generally, look at the modeling, is interestingly convincing. All right, let's go ahead and take off now. Full power. All right, should work without any issues, I'm pretty sure. Look at the immense acceleration right here. I mean, this thing is, this thing is powerful. Let's go. There we go. No issues at all taking off out of St. Bartholomew. God, it is a little bit laggy. Holy moly, whatever that was. 
absolutely no trouble at all. Put the landing gear up, and landing here again will be no problem. We can just land from the other side as well, from the hillside. I mean, this is a 600 meter long runway that would never be able to see 80 people coming to it in one airplane, you know? But look at that air brake. Yes! This is truly special. Come on, let's land this airplane now. Okay, runway is right there. We're a little fast, but it doesn't matter with this airplane, really. Okay, that was a hard landing. And the good thing is about this airplane is that we can do hard landings. I mean, did you guys know what this airplane had to go through at London City Airport? Hard landings air all the time there. This airplane has immensely sturdy landing gear. There even is a gravel kit for this airplane, which lets it fly to unpaved runways. Which means this airplane will probably stay in service for quite a long time because no modern airliner can fly on unpaved runways nowadays. This airplane can, and yes, it can even more now with our new engines. Absolutely amazing. We genuinely have made the performance of this airplane better. Come on, Avro Company, you could have accomplished this yourself. Now, good question is, how do we move on from here? I mean, uh, this is a 600 meter long runway. We could fly to Helgoland, which has like a 475 meter long runway. Yes, everybody, amazing news. Lufthansa now flies to a small German island here, which is a small German... Run. It's a four. It's very short. Genuinely, um, this. I mean, no proper airliner that can carry 80 people would be ever able to fly here. But I think the Avrojet can. I mean, just the remarkable stopping power here of the engines and the air brakes is just insane. We should not underestimate that. All right, here's runway. No problem. Okay, we are kind of messing up that landing. Uh oh, that was a mess up. That's a bit. That's a mess up. That was not good. That was not good. Come on, just stop then. Just stop. The good thing is, in order to fly here in real life, you definitely need to have room for errors. You know, in case something goes wrong and you land not on the you know, threshold of the runway. And we haven't now, and it still worked. We still managed to stop. That was amazing to see. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. So, airplane, I think you are prepared for the shortest runway in the world. Of course, Saber. Do you know, let's take off here. This should work without any problems. Genuinely, we've got... This airplane's got 30% more power than the original Avro. This should work without any problems. I mean, the acceleration is absolutely crazy. This is like sports car level acceleration. <laughs> All right, there you go. Look at this. And we should be able to fly off. Okay, that kind of only barely worked, to be very honest there. Uh, okay. But we, we survived that one. We definitely had to use that drop, though. But nothing to worry about whatsoever, guys. All right, then. Let's come in for a landing right now already. This should work without any problems. I mean, come on, Avro. Why didn't you do this? You could have saved your British airplane. Stop now. Oh, my God. That was hard. Let's stop now all the way into the braking. You should be able to pull it off. And it has pulled it off, it has pulled it off without any problems, although this landing was a mess. And this is the good thing, normally at Seba you'd need several tries to land somewhere. Here, first try, easy going, this airplane just flies well. It, it flies very refined actually, so I'm very much happy about that. You know, it would be hard to find a plane nowadays that can take the beating that the Avro can take. And because of the immense fun that this airplane brings, even the pilots approve. Hello, pilots. Oh my, oh my, oh my god. Oh, hello. We've got someone utilizing a map. That's quite, oh, now we're in the cabin, which have a nice view of those engines. That's actually looking pretty good. I did a good job at making this modeling work. Can you imagine seeing this from the inside? Probably would be a bit of a louder airplane than the Avro was known for. <sighs> but that's fine. Everybody, I've definitely fixed the whole situation here. If any uh, airplane manufacturers come up, uh, just let me know if you need any ideas for improving your airplanes. I'm now consulting firm. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Durham, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.